Marlene Guest, I'm the organiser for uh, Rotherham in South Yorkshire, the British National Party. A few weeks ago a gentleman contacted me and I was absolutely amazed at what he had to tell me and I just couldn't believe that this was going on in my town. Steve, can you tell me exactly what happened from the beginning? Well, it's a few months ago now. Uh, my daughter rang me to, well, she rang her mum to say that our granddaughter hadn't come home from school uh, and she was a little bit worried like we were getting late. So we just said, is she really any mates? She said no. And then she started to tell us little things about her being going off. Anyway, apparently, <laughs> been, being a little bugger, she'd been jumping out of window, doing whatever she wanted to do, and I had control of her. Tell us that there was Asian men involved. So I phoned the police. Uh, anyway, after I think it was three hours, a young, a young lady arrived at my door, sat down, and what she told me just amazed me. She told me all about the grooming, what was going off, everything. They knew all about it. And I asked why they wasn't doing anything about it. She said they couldn't. It's a, a young girl's word against an Asian man's word. And I said, well, I, I'm not pleased. I want my granddaughter to find him. So she went away, she went down to my daughter's. She told my daughter the same thing she told me about grooming and everything else. Fine. If I go to bed, my daughter goes to bed, my granddaughter's not coming in. We don't know where she is. Next morning, my daughter phones me to tell me that my granddaughter had been found in an house on Renville Road in Rotherham at three o'clock in the morning with three Asian men, Pakistanis. Now I want to know what's gone off, so phones the police. My granddaughter was charged with drunk disorder. These three men were released, no charges. Not boys, not young lads, men, grown men. I was outraged, I just couldn't believe it. So I said I wanted something doing. And the police like, like what? I said I want them charging. They shouldn't be with the young girl in the house at that time in the morning. But no, nope, it doesn't matter, they wasn't interested. So that was it. I, I mean, I, I was like banging me head against a big wall. I, I, I sent emails to politicians, David Cameron, everybody, all the top ones. No reply, John Gaunt, some, no reply. So then I went to see him a priest, as I'm a practicing, practicing Christian. And I had a word with a priest like, and he got in touch, phoned the police. Straight away, they put him straight through to an inspector. Anyway, things, I thought things were moving. We got straight through to social services. I thought, fine, everything's going to be great. But then, same again, they just didn't want to know. Nothing was getting done, nothing. So anyway, cut a long story short, like, my, my, my granddaughter, it's like... It, this started on... Let me tell you when it all started. This started on 4th of October, I think it was 6th of October. Uh, this is when she was found with the three Muslim men. In November, in November, she, same again, she stayed out. And anyway, I, I, I phoned them all, I was switched off, I sent a text message. I said, tell him to let you go now. I said, I know you're with him. It was half an hour later when she was chucked out of the car with a mark on her face because she'd been beaten by him and she'd been taken to see this man who had a scarf around his head but raped her. That's all he did, he just raped her. Wasn't bothered, just raped her. This man beat her when he threw her out of the car. Again, contacted the police, I wanted something to him. Again, nothing. Nothing. This is November. December, I'm out on a shoot. I'm beating with some of my friends. I get a phone call from my wife telling me that social services who've done nothing for my granddaughter or my daughter have taken <laughs> in this big room down in Rotherham. I goes down, there's a police officer called Chang, a nice lad, a black police officer, a really nice lad. I can't say anything else about him. He was a nice lad. There was an inspector there who I confronted about being arrested and charged with drunk disorderly and I wanted to know what they were playing at. They was taken into protective custody. I wanted to know why she had to go into protective custody, why these men weren't being ta taken into custody. Same again, nothing, just not interested in any way, shape or form. Then I had to go into a room and listen to this big fat bloke from social services 
telling me a load of crap because I, I believed him. And then I find out he's the bloke who took a social worker off my granddaughter. And this is the bloke who I want to nail. I want to I want him prosecuting. I want the chief, chief constable of South Yorkshire prosecuting. I want them all prosecuting because it's disgusting what they've done. It's political and I'm fed up to the back teeth. Anyway, they take my granddaughter into protective custody. I'm screaming for tests to be done on my granddaughter for AIDS and anything else. Nothing else. I didn't think of anything else. But then the lady who she's been in protective custody, who was a really nice lady, took her to her own doctors. The police didn't do it. And a girl at 12 years old at her age should have been tested automatically. That's the law of England. She wasn't. This lady took her to her own doctors and had her tested. Where we found out my granddaughter was pregnant. She was six weeks pregnant. Now you don't have to be a, a math mathematician to work it out. The date now is, the, I think it's the 11th, oh, I think it's the 22nd of December. So if you work that out, that is weeks after these three men, we were shooting out of was released, it's weeks after that when this man took her and got her pregnant. I believe it was the man in the mask who wore the scarf that got her pregnant. Same again, we kicked off to try to get something done. The police, my granddaughter had a, mis had a miscarriage. The police came and I trusted them. I trusted them with the fetus. They came to, my, to that hospital, they took the fetus while they was there, the nurse in charge turned around and said, there's enough evidence there for enough DNA on that. It wouldn't have lived. The little girl's body was rejecting it. And anyway, it wouldn't have lived. It had a weak heart. That's what the police took. I wish now we'd have took it for an independent because whatever's gone off, the police are covering something up. <coughs> and I honestly believe what they're covering up is a disgrace because I think there's some certain councils in Rotherham who are related to the main man in all this and I am disgusted with it. And all I'm getting is a brick wall all the time. Well, I came and took your granddaughter's DNA and uh, I wrote a cheque out for £450 and the, VN the VNP have taken the fetus now and we're having it independently checked. So hopefully we can get some evidence to who the father was of this child. But she's a child and she's she's absolutely gorgeous looking child and she's been traumatised. It's absolutely traumatic, not just for the child, but for a mum as well. But in all this, in all this, I know I it's disgusting what's happened to, to my granddaughter, but I must tell you, there's hundreds of little girls involved, not just mine, yeah. there's hundreds of little girls involved all over the place. Since this has happened, I didn't just come to the BMP and think, oh, I'll start causing trouble. I went to three BMP meetings before I came to see you, and I watched everything that was going off. And I found out that they aren't the pigs that people keep saying. They're the only people who care about kids like my, my granddaughter and people like me. And it's disgusting how they keep making out that the BMP don't care. They're the only party who don't care. Conservatives and the others only care when they want to care. I've tried them all. Nobody's listened. And I want to thank the BMP with all my heart for doing what they've done for us. And that's it. That's all I've got to say. But I hope the BMP are going to nail these pigs because... It's just disgusting. And when I say pigs, I don't mean the men involved. I mean the police. The police, the social services. These are the pigs in my eyes. These are the people who need prosecuting. The men, it should come. But these are the people I want <coughs> because they have let my granddaughter and hundreds of little girls down in Rotherham. And I thought Rotherham was going to start the ball rolling. And I would like to say that Rotherham advertiser, Howard Pouch is his name, is a coward because he backed down when the police went to swim. And that's all I've got to say. Thank you. Well, I, I find it very, very difficult to believe that our own could stand by and watch this done to, as Nick Griffin calls them, the little roses of England, because the kids, and they're going to be traumatised for the rest of their lives. And if, I truly believe that if it had been white men or indigenous that had done this, they'd have been locked up years ago. But um, you're the little girl's mum. Has it affected her? Is she traumatised? Yes, she has nightmares and she can't sleep. She wakes me up and gets in bed with me still. And at 13, she shouldn't be. And she don't go far, she don't play far away from the door now. She don't. But she is 
when I first saw her, I thought she's absolutely gorgeous. She really is a beautiful girl. It would be a shame if what's happened to her is going to damage the rest of her life. Yeah. How is she going to feel about men when she comes 20s and wants to get married? Um, and this is happening to hundreds of little girls, but you've had to move from your hometown, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to, but... Well, you've had no move, choice. You've had to move your home, you've lost your job. Yeah. Um, you've got financial problems because you've moved to a different house and you, your carpets don't fit, your curtains don't fit, you've had no financial help. I mean, you've been moved, but nobody's come to help you, have they? No, since I've moved, I've not had anybody. Nobody's Nobody cares, Molly. Well, I, 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 do, I do care. Since, since I heard about this, I've been very troubled, but it's very, very hard to stand up for what you believe in when everybody criticises you, but it is so wrong. It is so wrong. It might be right in the Far East, but it's not right in Britain, and we don't do this. And we've every right to stand up and protect our own. And um, I will go with you all the way. I'll walk all the way down this mile with you because... It's the only thing we can do it as a political party. We stand up for our own. I would like to point out that the man involved is a main heroin dealer in Rotherham. He's well known for it. He's also the, born in Rotherham. So there's no excuses that he's backward from a backward country. He's not. He knows the law of this land. He knows what he's done. He's a bad man. I know there's a lot involved, but the main man is a really bad man. And the police, I think they're frightened because of who he is. I honestly believe that his father is a councillor on Rotherham Council. He's either his father or his uncle, I don't know which. Rotherham Council know about the premises where it was all going off two years ago. I can't say, I can't divulge who's telling me that because a lot of police officers are talking, but they don't want to be mentioned. And I, they're frightened, they're frightened, they're just frightened to death to speak out. Social services, people in social services are scared to speak out. They're scared because of this government, what's been the cruelest government to its own people in history, have let us down bad. And all I can say is the sooner we get rid of Brown and all the rest of the cabbages, the great things might happen in this country, but you're not going to win by getting Cameron because he's a coward. And the Lib Dems, they're cowards. You want a party in this country what's willing to stand up and say, enough's enough, done, because you're just laying us down too bad. You're killing, you're killing us, you're killing us off. Just disgusting. I think for somebody to stand by and watch their own children suffer and not lifting a finger, I think these are traitors to our country. This little girl, is a, she's gorgeous, she's absolutely gorgeous. And uh, it's such a crime what's been done to her. And, but you're so limited in what you can do. I'm hoping that this DNA test comes back, that there is a positive result in it and we can match it to the DNA of one of these men and then we can prove without a doubt who was the father of a child? I, honest, I honestly believe, Marlene, that, the, that that DNA will have been tampered with. I honestly believe that because I, we put our trust in police. And if I'd have known what I know now, that they would have never got their hands on that. They would never have ever got their hands on that. Because what they've done is a crime. It's a crime against the people of England. And South Yorkshire police are trying there in shame, a lot of them. I, well, not, I'm, I'm, I'm being unfair there because ordinary lads, or ordinary girls and boys, Ordinary police, a lot of them tell me all sorts. But the men at the top, I want that Meredith, I want him, I want his job because he's a disgrace. He knows what's going on in Rotherham, not just Rotherham, all over Yorkshire. You know what I mean? He knows what's going on. Sheffield everywhere, it's just need, rampant. The Labour Party needs the Asian vote to stay in. So they will persecute us to save the Asian vote for Labour. No, only, I don't. I don't care. It's only Asian people keeping power in It because. is, yeah. Dennis McShane has just been visiting all the mosques. No, he didn't visit our church. I'm a Christian. I've never seen Dennis McShane. He's not bothered church. about us, well, is he? We I'm don't vote. We don't vote. I vote. I don't vote Labour. I've never voted Labour. I'm not ashamed to say that. But I will not vote Tory anymore either. There's only one party now got in my vote. That's BNP all the way. Thank you. Well, it wouldn't matter to me. Steve, if you said you weren't going to vote for it. matters it. to me. You do what's right, and this it matters is right. To me. I've, been to, I've been to Labour meetings, I've been to Tory meetings, and I've been to BMP meetings. The only people I've heard talk any sense who care about people like me are the BMP. And I'm sorry, and I just don't care. The BMP are the only party in this country worth voting for. And that's how I feel at this moment in time, because we've been let down, which is just absolute, it's unbelievable. What's happened to us is unbelievable. It's not just happened to me, 
It's happening to families all over the country. With this big Asian population, it's happening. She couldn't oh, right. keep away because these men had a bad hold over her. They were, I mean, they were, they, they, there were drugs and all sorts involved. I mean, she wasn't drunk that night. She was drugged up with that rape drug. You know what I mean? But the police don't want to know. They've got all samples. They just don't want to know. They're not interested. So they've not tested this sample they took they've of her hair then? nothing. No. We've heard nothing. They've done nothing. All they're doing is trying to cover things up. They're just trying to cover things up. That's it. Nothing's getting done. It's just cover up, cover up, cover up. Now, I've met a lot of people since since this has happened. I didn't know this was going off, by the way. I, I mean, I'm just like most of the people in Rotherham. I just get on with my life. I mean, I always thought everything were hunky dory in Rotherham. Oof. And since this has happened, nah. It's all over, all over the place, and, and nobody's doing no. It's, it's, it's as though the police just keep, they let it go away. They just don't they want to bring it out. They just want it to go away. Well, it's not going to go away. See, they away. don't. They well, don't let it be away. known because people would be so angry, and I don't think they could keep the, the lid on the pot. How many little girls do you think have been involved? In well, the people keep saying, I mean, they said it were over 50. Lame, yeah. But we have heard hundreds, I mean, all mm. sorts mentioned by and, and, and there's not a few had to be moved out, is there? No. 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 There's plenty of others that have had to be moved out. Yes. We, we, we have been made to leave our homes, our schools, our jobs. And the people that have done this are living quite hunky dory and nothing's bothering them. I think he's absolutely a Well, I want, I, want, I want you to point out as well, when these men, there were 12 men arrested, that's all. There were, there were, they tell us there was going to be 50 arrests. There was 12. There was... A, Arrested and released the same day. What I found absolutely disgusting is the police made it quite clear in the rather advertiser they was going to knock on doors, not knock them down. They had the the cheat to to go and knock on send leaflets to the people in the area, all Asian people, to say what they were doing. I find that outrageous because that's there's no way you're gonna get justice when the police have got to tell these everybody what they're doing. I always thought it was the police did the job and then you found out after. I just, it's just outrageous, absolutely outrageous. Well, when you told me, I just couldn't believe it. So I put you in touch with the local paper, didn't I? I did. And I did. then the local <coughs> paper rang me and said, oh, for God's sake, don't have a demonstration. Don't leaflet. Don't let everybody know what's happening because these people will get away. So I thought about it and I thought, well, I don't want to be blamed. If people go back to the homeland in case it, in, in, instead of getting arrested. So I kept quiet and kept quiet and kept quiet and nothing seems to be progressing. We see when I threatened to have a demonstration and bring the truth truck and leaflet, something happened. It was in the local paper. Now, a month down the line, nothing's happened again. Everybody seems to have been shut up. It's on the back burner and we all go away. Well, we can't do this. We can't do this because... We owe it to the little girls of this country to sort it out and, and, and to bring it into the public domain because only by knowing about it can people protect the kids. I, I, don't, want any, I don't want any more kids like yours. I don't want anybody else to ring me up and say this is happening because... It's you, you're too late, Marlene. You're too, you're too late. It's happening all over. It's happening all over. I'm sorry, but I mean, people who's, who's contacted me, I mean, I've, I've met quite a few people now and... And, and I have started doing a lot of research on it because I'm a, I'm a person who likes to find things out. I don't just jump in. I like to find things out. And what I found out is disgusting. No, it's absolutely, I, I, I'm just I, I'm just disgusted. By the way, <laughs> great grandfather returning his grave. They talk about it. Was her great granddad was a soldier for 23 years, Japanese prisoner of war, and now she's had to move. Disgusting. Well, they wouldn't tolerate it if it was vice versa. If it was whites, indigenous, doing it to Muslim girls, there'd be an outcry. There'd be a flaming outcry. But we've got to shut up and go away, and I'm not having it. But that's another thing. I mean, <coughs> I mean, Muslim girls are abused anyway by 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 Muslim men. It's that simple. I mean, you don't have. To, I mean, I mean, a lot of people just turn a blind eye to it. But it's disgusting how some Muslim girls are checked, no, mm. by their own, which I find outrageous as well because, I mean, in this day and age, we're not backward no more. We, we, I mean, they, they want to turn the clock back to the days of Saladin and crap like that. We've moved on. It's time them people moved on. And it's time that this government started making them sit up and listen. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm just amazed what's gone on. I, I mean, mean, they've come into a civilised country and brought a backward religion. They've brought forced marriages. 
They've brought honour killings. They've brought goings on like that, that we're discussing. <laughs> this is a wonderful country. And I'm so proud to be British. I really am so proud. And then you get people that come in and they're allowed to do it. But I, I truly believe that this is done to keep the vote. To keep, don't bother them. Let them do as they like and keep voting Labour. Well, it's this kind of government what will turn people to racism. Because we're not racist. My kids won't face the racists. And I've got to be honest with you, I think if they had been racist, this wouldn't have happened. Mm. But I've always believed that live and let live. But now I don't, because what they've done to me and my family is disgusting. I would like to thank the BNP, because the BNP are only part of us. I showed any concern for what's gone on for my family. Not just my family, loads of families. It's been going on for two years, what I know about with my family. Two years, not just a few months, two years. We've still got no, no end to it. But it's been going on for 10, 15 years in these areas. It's, it's just disgusting. And it's time to stop. End of. Stop it. You know what I mean? And the British people need to know. And when I say British, I do mean all, all people. Because at the end of the day, all people should be disgusted with what's going on. You know what I mean? And, but I would like to say to Nick and all, Nick, Nick Griffin and all the lads who have been right, is thank you from bottom of my heart because nobody else has listened. Thank you. Well, if you can keep me informed of what's happening, and as soon as I get the results of this DNA, hopefully we can get something back from that. But we will continue to fight. Even though it makes us unpopular, you've got to stand up for what's right. Oh, I, 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 I really want BMP to go after, after, the, after the main bodies because end of the day, it's not just the ordinary Joes in the police station. It's the men at the top yeah. who made the decisions, yeah. who, who's pulling the strings, who need stopping and and I, I want that Meredith, I want him big time. I want I want him honest. I wish I could be in a room with him on his own on my own. I just want that man, but I want him sight, end of. I want head of social services rather than sight, end of. You know what I mean? And as for our Pouja, he's just a coward. That's all I'm gonna say. I want kids to be able to go out and play safe and free. And that you're not sat in your house wondering where's my daughter? What's she doing? Who's she with? That, that's the right of every kid to go out and play and enjoy itself as a child and, and, and nobody to have these words because this is, this is just unbelievable and you read about it but when I found out that it was happening in my town I just couldn't believe it and I will fight, I will fight, I'm, I'm right, I'm ten yards in front of you and I'll fight for you right to the end and I can't thank you enough for, as I say, having the guts to come and speak out. Thank you. No, thank you.